deck ledger is a board that attaches to the side of a structure and helps support one end of the deck joist. Properly attaching the ledger to the structure is one of the most important steps in constructing a safe, strong deck. In fact, 90% of deck failures are caused by the ledger pulling away from the house. In order to make a proper connection, it's crucial to know both the environment in which you're building and the structure you're attaching to. Is it a high wind area, earthquake country, or prone to extreme weather? Is the connection being made to wood, concrete, or brick? When was the structure built and are there signs of rot or age? Are you connecting to the stud, header, rim joist, or top plate? Is there flashing in place to protect the ledger from moisture? Connecting the ledger to the structure can be done with a variety of connections, depending on what the ledger is attaching to inside the structure. When selecting connectors, fasteners, and anchors, it's important to consider the corrosiveness of your environment, as well as the type of treated lumber and metal you're using. Use hardware that meets the corrosion resistance needed and always choose like metals. For example, with stainless steel connectors, use stainless steel fasteners. For ledger connections and wood applications, use structural screws like the SDWS timber screw. In more corrosive environments, structural screws with added protection like the SDWH Timber Hex HDG or the SDWS Timber SS are preferred. For concrete or grouted CMU walls, use heavy-duty screw anchors like the Titan HD SS. If installing through brick veneer, a metal connector such as the BVLZ provides a strong connection. We chose the SDWS timber screw to provide the necessary vertical support for our ledger. Fasteners were spaced with the appropriate edge and end distances and with staggered rows in order to ensure each screw achieved its full capacity. Joist hangers and ledger fasteners primarily provide vertical support. The building code, however, offers several options for making a lateral connection between the deck joists and the structure. We're using the DTT-1Z deck tension tie to make the connection between the deck joist and the wall plate inside the structure. This code option allows for minimal access inside of the house when making the connection. Those are the basic steps for constructing strong, safe ledger connections. But before working on your own deck, be sure to check your local building code or consult an engineer or general contractor. To learn more about other critical deck connections and how to make them stronger, watch the full Simpson Strong Ties Stronger Deck series.